Happy Monday and welcome to Joburg TV News. I'm Gail Fasahi with your top stories. President Cyril Ramaphosa has revealed how SSA was repurposed to serve Jacob Zuma's interest. Minister Trele says police won't be kind to those disrupting voting. And Ethiopian Airlines grounds booing 737 fleet after crash. The Office of President Sir Ramaphosa this past weekend published a bombshell report by the high-level review panel into State Security Agency, revealing damning evidence of how the SSA was repurposed to serve the political interests of former President Jacob Zuma and his cronies within the ANC. The panel was headed by Dr. Sidney Mafumadi and drew on mounds of documents and interviews with former and current ministers, staff and operatives to conduct its review of the SSA. Former President Jacob Zuma has responded on Twitter saying the committee had two well-known apartheid spies and hoped people were not opening a can of worms which they may regret. Police Minister Begi Kele says that officers will not be kind to those seeking to disrupt people from participating in the elections. Kele was speaking during a briefing by the ANC's Peace and Security Subcommittee at Lutuli House yesterday. He says that law enforcement agencies will ensure that voters' rights to cast their ballots are protected. Ethiopian Airlines said it had grounded its Boeing 737 fleet after a crash that killed 149 passengers and 8 crew members. This followed the tragic accident of ET-302. The airline said they don't know yet the cause of the accident and decided to ground the particular fleet as an extra safety precaution. All 157 people on board died when Nairobi-bound flight ET-302 came down just six minutes after taking off from the Addis Ababa. China also grounded its fleet of the Boeing 737 in the aftermath. Now let's take a look at your sports updates with Ayanda Vezi. A warm welcome to you all. A lot of drama happened in sports in the past weekend. Starting off with cricket, the South African cricket team beat Sri Lanka by 71 runs through the DLS method to lead the series by 3 nil at Kingsmead Stadium yesterday. Rain interrupted the visitors' reply after 16 overs when they were 75 for 2 and their target was revised to 193 of 24. Quintin Tikok was the man of the match for two matches, this after he scored 121. Kakheso Rabada and Lungingiti removed the, their, removed the openers both caught at mid on inside eight overs. And in your PSL news, relegation threatened the Chippa United lose by three goals to two at Toyando Stadium. The Chile boys scored two in the first half. Black Leopards needed a quick response and striker Moab Musona did the job for them. Musonda hit the, se se the season's first hat-trick which made him a leading top goal scorer with 12 goals. I'm not your wife, said Lobby Stars FC head coach Solomon Opide to Mamelo de Sundowns coach Pizzo Musimane after he refused to shake his hand from an embarrassing 4-0 defeat. During the press conference, the coach said while in Nigeria there was an argument when Sundowns wanted to train early on an artificial pitch and he called his boys off of the pitch, but Bafanaba style refused to train. Musimani accused Okbide of refusing to shake his hand when the two sides met in met in the away leg. On Friday, when the on Friday when they met, Solomon told Musimani that he's not his girlfriend, and then he, after the match on Saturday, he told him he's not his wife. In defense, Kabu Yellow coach said it's about nat national agenda and the flag. The story of who is better between Nigeria and South Africa. That's your sports news from me, Ayanda Vezi. Catch Tato Hatsi with your last sports news of the day at midday. Back to you, Gay. Over to your weather and traffic updates. Thank you, Gail. It's an exciting Monday. We're full of traffic on the major roads as motorists are traveling to work. In Johannesburg CBD, there is a heavy traffic on multiple routes due to CBD congestions. And in Sentin on the M1 road, there is a crash near the Greyston exit, causing heavy traffic from Baklu Interchange. And in Gilview on the N12, there is a crash also near Clebrefield Drive exit. And in Village Deep at Eloff Street extension, there is too much traffic towards the CBD due to roadworks. And with your weather updates, Johannesburg is peaking at 26 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. And in Pretoria, it's at 29 degrees Celsius and Ferienheng peaking at 29 degrees Celsius. And that is it from the traffic and weather updates. Back to you, Gail. And that's it from the team and I. Catch your next bulletin at midday. Goodbye.